Here's an update on my California evergreens, starting with incense cedar. And it started the growing season right about here. And looks like it's gonna end up putting on a foot or more of vertical growth. And it's expanded a lot horizontally as well. So for the first true growing season of incense cedar in Tennessee, I'm pretty impressed by it. And I continue to have high hopes for it. Moving on. This is the coast redwood, and the growth is even more impressive. It started off pretty small, and I'm about 100% certain it was a grafted, or not really a grafted branch, a rooted branch. I think we were about in here at the beginning of the growing season, and it's put on over a foot vertical. But as you can see, I'm continuing to have to stake it up. Since it was a branch, it wants to grow flat, and you can see the... Uh, foliage is kind of all aligned in one plane of existence. So if you had a coast redwood sprouted from seed, you wouldn't have this problem, but this particular cultivar is called Los Altos, purchased from forestfarm.com, and I believe it's supposed to be more cold resistant, which is probably why it's a rooted cutting from an existing Los Altos redwood and not sprouted from seed. So we'll see if over time staking up like this will eventually cause it to figure out which way is up and grow straight. And sometimes there are different uh, leaders here. You can see this one to the side is a little bit, I don't know how to describe it. It's more stringy. There's not as much side branching, not as many leaves on it. And I don't know if that type of branching is indicative of the fact that it's sending up a vertical leader. But we'll see. But so far, so good with Coast Redwood. And here we are to the giant sequoia. And this year it's exceeded all expectations. It's actually hard to get it all in one shot now. We started the growing season here. And it's put on over two feet of growth. Maybe approaching three feet of vertical growth. And the side branches are branching out really well. And there has not been a lot of dieback on the interior, which I've seen in the past. This brown was here earlier. So I would say this is the Hazel Smith variety of giant sequoia. You can find them online. And I believe um, Western Evergreen might have them online. But I got mine from a local nursery, but Western Evergreen in Oregon probably sells these, if I recall. I think it's worth a try. This one is in a spot with pretty good drainage. It also gets plenty of moisture in the spring because it's on a slope. So three species of California evergreen doing pretty good in Middle Tennessee. This is mid-August.